Hermes International, sometimes also referred to as Hermes of Paris or Hermes, is a French luxury goods manufacturer. It is consistently recognized as the world's most valuable luxury brand in various valuations and ranking studies published by leading consulting firms. As a brand, Hermes enjoys iconic status in the luxury world. The combination of a rich heritage, exquisite craftsmanship, attention to detail, and a high level of quality and professionalism throughout the production process gives Hermes a position of superiority in the highly competitive and ruthless world of luxury. According to global brand valuation company Interbrand, Hermes ranked 28th among the best global brands of 2020. With a brand valuation of $18 billion, it ranks behind Louis Vuitton, ranked 17th with a valuation of $31.7 billion. Hermes is not a conglomerate in the true sense of the word and does not have a portfolio of brands like its key competitors, which include LVMH, Richemont, and Kling. Currently, the range of products under the Hermes brand includes leather goods, lifestyle accessories, furniture, fragrances, watches, jewelry, finished goods, and saddlery. The leather goods and saddlery category accounts for the largest share of the company's revenue 50%, followed by confections and accessories 23%, and silk and textiles, 9%. Hermes History Thierry Hermes founded the company in 1837 as a harness workshop in Paris. His initial intention was to cater to the needs of European nobility by supplying saddles, bridles, and other leather riding gear. At the beginning of the 20th century, Thierry's son Charles Emile Hermes moved the company's store to Rue du Faubourg Saint Honoré in Paris, where it remains today and is the company's global headquarters. Gradually, the company's product offerings expanded from generation to generation. Between 1880 and 1900, it began selling saddlery products and introduced its product to retail stores. In 1900, the company began selling the Horta Curries bag, which was designed for riders to carry their saddles in. In 1918, Hermes introduced the first leather golf jacket with a zipper made for the then Prince of Wales. In the 1920s, accessories and clothing were added to the portfolio. In 1922, the first leather handbags entered the product line. Introduced in 1925, the brand's travel bags were a worldwide success. In the 1930s, Hermes introduced products that have now entered the annals of fashion as icons, the Sacre Depeche's leather bag, renamed the Kelly bag in honor of Grace Kelly in 1935, and Hermes Carra's scarves in 1937. In 1949, the first Hermes silk tie and the first UD Hermes perfume were introduced. In the 1930s, the company entered the United States with an initial association with the Neiman Marcus department store in New York. The company's iconic logo and orange boxes were introduced in the 1950s. In the 1970s, the company established a watch subsidiary, La Monte Hermes, in Bayonne, Switzerland. In the 1980s, the company acquired tableware manufacturers such as Puyforcat, St. Louis and Père Jord, and consolidated its position in these segments of the luxury market. The eye of the ultra-premium luxury segment the Birkin bag was introduced in 1984, following a chance conversation between then CEO Jean Louis Dumas and actress and singer Jane Birkin on a flight from Paris to London, who spoke to Dumas that she needed a medium sized bag. Each Birkin costs between $12,000 and $300,000 and is the exquisite work of a single artisan who handcrafts 18 to 25 hours of work. More if the leather is fine crocodile skin. In 2014, an extremely rare Birkin bag made of Himalayan crocodile knee low sold for $185,000, becoming the second most expensive bag sold at auction. Hermes is known for burning imperfect Birkins, showing its commitment to superior quality. In 1993, the company went public on the Paris Stock Exchange, which was considered a strategic move with its own set of weaknesses for various reasons. In the late 1990s, Hermes intensively pursued a strategy of reducing franchise stores, buying them out, closing many and opening more company-run stores. As of 2019, 
Hermes operates 311 stores worldwide, 223 of which are directly owned and operated by the company. In 1976, Hermes reached an agreement with British luxury shoemaker John Lobb to allow the use of his name in exchange for expanding the brand's distribution reach. In 1999, in one of its first non-brand moves, Hermes bought a 35% stake in fashion house Jean Paul Gaultier. Over time, the company has expanded its reputation by establishing strategic partnerships with specific players, as well as its suppliers in the ultra-luxury segment. These include establishing a joint venture with Faubourg Italia, in which Hermes has a 60% stake, to expand its reach into the premium home furnishings segment upholstery fabrics and wallpaper, holding a 30% stake in J3L, an old French supplier of metal parts to the company, holding a 39.5% stake in Perrin and Fils, which specializes in weaving textiles in various categories such as lingerie, furniture fabrics, finished goods and accessories, holding a 25% stake in Voccia, a manufacturer and supplier of mechanism parts for high-end precision watches, acquisition of a 40% stake in Betin, a long-time partner of the Tillane Specialist Company. Today, the brand operates 311 stores worldwide in the US, Russia and Asia and employs more than 15,000 people. It is one of the world's largest and most admired luxury manufacturers, with revenues exceeding $8.3 billion and profits exceeding $1.8 billion in 2019. The brand's outstanding performance over its 183-year history is due in large part to its motivation for strategic consistency, combining superior creativity with craftsmanship, as well as a relentless focus on long-term and short-term benefits. The Hermes brand philosophy can be summed up in one sentence with a quote from former CEO Jean-Louis Damas, We don't have an image policy. We have a product policy. The brand's philosophy is deeply rooted in the platforms of quality and sophistication. It is for these principles that the brand has always avoided mass production, production lines, and outsourcing. According to Hermes, every product that appears under the brand's name should reflect the hard work put into it by artisans. To this day, creative director Pierre Alexis Dumas signs off on every Hermes product before it leaves the workshop demonstrating the company's unwavering commitment to top quality. According to current CEO Axel Dummers, the main strength of the Hermes brand is its love of craftsmanship. This is further evinced by Pierre Alexis Dummers, who said, I think Hermes objects are desirable because they connect people to their humanity. Our customer feels the presence of the person who created the object, while at the same time the object brings back to his own sensibility because it pleases him with his senses. The most critical aspect is that these brand principles have remained constant in the company's evolution over its nearly 183-year history. The ownership, management and leadership of the company have passed through many generations of the Hermes family. But the Hermes brand principles have never been weekend. All Hermes products are made almost entirely in France in workshops ateliers Hermes that place great emphasis on quality. In addition, Hermes claims, according to comments by its CEO and creative director, that each product is entirely handmade by just one artisan, attests to the quality of workmanship and uniqueness of its products. For example, its silk scarves are made exclusively from silk produced by Hermes Farms in Brazil. The driving force behind the platforms of quality and uniqueness is Hermes' intense desire as a company to remain exclusive. The aura of exclusivity is important to the company because it does not intend to portray the brand and its products as mass luxury or even premium. The philosophy and goal has always been to remain an ultra-premium luxury that only a few can afford and is not readily available. In line with these brand philosophies, the company has no marketing department. Intuition and creativity are the two main factors driving the company's business. It is claimed that everyone at Hermes is responsible for marketing.